Okay, then uh, sorry for the interruptions, right? Uh, Winter's computer, the installment we computed using uh, PMT function and principal payment, all is the difference between inst installment you paid and the interest for the period. Then principal payment this much, then closing balance equal, open loan balance minus principal payment because principal payment is in the minus form, you just say plus and closing balance. So you must ensure your closing balance must be less than your open balance. Then this closing balance will be your open balance for the next period. Equal this, right. Then this interest, interest for the next period should be this much. Principal payment for the next period should be this much. Closing balance should be this much. Next period open balance should be this much. Mm -hmm. You can see here, ah, you can see here, there's a big amount. Ne? It seems wrong. We check where we went wrong. Balamuga, uh, we went out. This is correct. Ah, here, this is, here we have made a mistake. You can see my interest computation. Interest equal, what is the interest formula? Interest must be equal, open loan balance times interest rate, this is 0 0.18. 0 0.18, if you leave it relative, when you drag it, 0 0.18 will be replaced by, my father drag will have 5. I think 0 0.18, then you have 500 times it. In some this should be fixed, right? If I mistake, I will do F4 gala be fixed, father Then it should be okay. Interest for the next period should be this much, and then this closing balance become open balance for the next period. Then interest for the next period should be this much. Then this should be this much. A couple of things pull one like like this. Just double click. Click on this small plus mark. Double click. Click on this small double click. Click here, click here. Now click here. There will be a balance of 200,000. Right. Now you can see the money. This time, usually if you mean without this, without this Lamai, loan zero. Instrument change, loan zero. If you put 200,000, right, you can see loan E. There is a loan balance. Negative 200,000. Lama, loan negative in our you should be happy. Loan neka positive not you have to keep paying. Loan, negative loan can bank owes you. You can understand it. Metana, you owe to the bank this much. Here you owe to the bank this much. Uh, end of the period, negative loan can you can ask this from the bank and go home. So you have a saving balance of 200,000. This is the meaning of uh, putting this uh, future value, right? You pay installment, you relatively pay high installment for what purpose? To keep paying loan and generating a balance of this much. Generating a loan balance of this much. Okay, mm, that's it, right? That's the loan repayment schedule. Uh, I think balance you can try. Uh, go to next activity. Then activity three, this is relating to 20, let's say 2023. 20, ABC private limited acquired a motor vehicle under lease. Uh, following uh, information is provided relating to lease. Lease in our country. Lease is in my summoning. We'll see whether a new thing is there. Fair value for the motor vehicle. Uh, you are going to buy a motor vehicle worth 5.5 million. You want to buy a motor vehicle worth 5.5 million. Down payment means you pay out of your money 1.5 million. Uh, this is the scenario. Loan NK value of 5.5 million. What you have with you is 1.5 million. That means what is lacking 4 million. So you are going to get the loan of 4 million with the leasing company, right? As a simple thing, so we'll try this as well quickly. Right, these are the scenarios. 
uh, I'll uh, open another sheet in the same Excel uh, sheet sheet three and rename it. Double clicking on the sheet and rename it activity three. Activity three. Okay, answer right. So I'll write here answer for activity three. Right. So we we'll, uh, as usual we put our inputs first one. Inputs and to highlight these are your inputs. So, what are the inputs in this scenario? We'll take this uh, information down payment is there. Sorry, uh, vehicle value. This is a lease scenario, right? Lease ticket my loan borrowing at the right? Subject to your asset to borrow, asset to mortgage to a loan at the end of the right? Lease ticket. Asset value of 5.5 million out of which 1.5 million you pay. So the difference is your amount finance, right? So we'll take this information, vehicle value, asset value, down payment, uh, like that, right? Five year period, the loan interest rate is 20%, right? We'll take, keep in mind, 5.5, 1.5, 20 and five years, okay? My, I think my uh, RAM is cash memory is good. So we'll see asset value. Asset, what was asset, right? Asset value uh, 5.5 million. Okay, so it is not good. So I format with comma separate, right? Thousand separate. Just click on this small comma, this small box, and control one, come to this dialog, and click on number, reduce the decimal place, remove decimal place, use the thousand comma separate, thousand sub separate. And minus figures ideally within within that. Then it's very visible. So these are our asset values. Then we'll put down pay. Down pay. Uh, down payment. That means initial payment. Uh, uh, Lessee pay to the lesser. Lesser or the asset seller. 1.5 million. 1.5 million pays. So you can understand asset take 1.5 million, asset is 5.5 million, you only have 1.5 million. So definitely you need to finance, you need to get the support of finance company to arrange finance of balance 4 million. So accordingly, from this different, you should be you can find out the uh, right amount finance, right? Amount finance. Finance correct difference. Formula can Asset value minus down payment. So this is the loan, right? The rest of the bar, same. Right? This is practically asset value, down payment. This is the amount fine. They are after negotiating with the bank, interest rate, right? Fire, right? Finance rate, right? Interest, interest rate. Interest rate, let's say it is mentioned to 2%. Two, two, two I just put 0.2 and apply percentage. Then period the loan this period lease term you should month annually uh, five year lease team term make up just for simpli simplification purpose now my make uh, will let you we are repaying the loan annual basis then what are done what annual do not monthly not PMT function can be applied annual not very easy monthly not la my interest rate should be divided by twelve. Interest rate should be divided by 12 in the PMT function. And if it is monthly basis, lease term should be multiplied by 12. Only that difference, right? So we'll go with annual installment, right? Annual uh, lease installment. Okay. Annual lease installment. This is the important thing. This is the crucial thing. If you make any error here in the installment, then everything will be mess right so put in the uh, installment very easy use pmt function this is the only function we discussed so far pmt double click right rate rate is given first you have to decide whether you are paying annual or month annual installment rate is same rate come on present oh no, yeah then number of payments annual installment five num number of payments this come on Present value can be, what is the present value? Is it asset value? Is it down payment? No, present value means amount you borrow. 
right? Amount you borrow today, amount you, your finance facility you get from the finance today, it is amount fine. Don't take 5.5. 5, 5. Don't take down payment. Amount you borrow is the amount you finance. This, come up. Right? Future saving. You should mind the leasing scenario sometime. You don't intend to generate any saving. But right, if, if the saving balance is required, you put in that saving requirement. We'll put zero. We don't need to any uh, generate into any any guaranteed saving. Come on, guaranteed um, residual value. Um, zero. And usually loan repayment, most of the cases paid at the end, so N is represented by zero. Zero them of N, Excel N, uh, zero them of N kilohitra, one them of beginning kilohitra. Most of the cases, it is paid at the end, so we put zero. Close the record, hit enter. This is your annual loan installment. Okay. Right? So you are required to prepare the loan repayment schedule. What are the five headings? Open, balance. I just put open PL. Now you know open PL means open loan balance. Comma interest, interest. Comma installment, installment. I don't correct the spelling mistake if I erroneously type right. Uh, just to save our time. Uh, then uh, principal payment, only loan repayment, principal pay. Finally, closing balance. Close, okay, closing balance, right. Just extend this column with the extend, okay. Right, right, okay. Just equal. Open balance equal. Make sure amount finance only. Hit this. Uh, if you wish, but no need, right? This open balance. Then interest rate, interest is equal, open balance, multiply, multiply, interest rate, make this column fix. Yeah, fix karan wala. Yeah, fix karan wala. F4, press the last. 800,000, oh, 4,000,000, 20%. 1,000, 800,000. Installment is already computed. This is yeah, installment. Make it fix. F4. Enter. Principal pay is the difference between in installment and just plus hmm, this this much. And closing balance is the is the difference between open balance minus payment. Payment is already in minus form, so you'd say plus. So this is your closing balance. Make sure your closing balance is less than open balance. Here this seems less than is not seen, is less than that. It must be less than that. Otherwise, you have made a right some error or your miscalculation. I think open balance, next period open balance should be the closing balance for the prior period. You take a return diagram just to show, show your installment paid. So, uh, five installment. And you can put a mid color gum, center color gum. Okay, then interest just drag it down. Installment is fixed in the middle of the principal pay, may uh, closing balance down. Just double click. Just double click. You can see it becomes zero. That means our calculation is correct. Right. This is it. Second lease scenario, asset value minus down payment. That then the answer is what we are going to finance and you prepare your um, model. It is my model. Let's say, as finance um, advisor, let's say finance executive, you are working for a you are working for a particular finance company, and once you develop this model, whenever a customer comes to negotiate the lease asset, let's say there's another customer comes, let's say he's going to buy eight million uh, motor vehicle, just put eight million, eight million is uh, the asset value, motor vehicle value eight million. And he's willing to pay, let's say, 2 million down payment. 2 million down payment. And amount finance this month, interest rate this month. Automatically, we, we have prepared the repayment schedule. Right? So we can ask what is the installment this much. Then we can ask, so you need to keep paying 2 million approximately, you know, right? Approximately 2 million installment for five years. Uh, if that this particular may. Uh, 
customer asks for is it whether it's two minutes too much to bear two minutes too much to pay then uh, then what right uh, then what if uh, i go for 10 year loan 10 year loan ekata giyot mona ave ehema nam eka 10 year ta adinna ona 10 year ta adinna ona Ten year old, that is no ten year old in zero. In a particular way, that means ten year old. And ten year old, how ten year old in it? Uh, it comes like this. It like this. If you go for a ten year loan, then you can you you can reduce your annual loan lease installment like this. Earlier it was two million, now it is one point four million. But the the crazy thing, you will have to pay huge interest. So this is the total interest you you pay. You can see your asset value eight million. You pay eight million interest. Asset value eight million. No, your amount you borrow six million. The amount you borrow loan facility you got got from the bank six million. To settle six million, you have to keep paying interest of eight million. Lakshya high to lakshya eight six million. Or eight million interest given. If you amount in high command, five million me me me. Right? Just try your best to settle within five years. Interest will be this much. Um, Instrument will be this much. And it will be settled in five years. You can see total interest paid just four million. How do you pay four million? If you go for 10 years, eight million interest, right? So once the model is developed, you can alter the figure and Negotiate with the customer. Customer to ask that no, after enter the bar no, what is the installment? How is going to be settled? And he we can instruct, advise him how to do. Okay, this is the the application, right? That's it. Uh, with this, Lamai. Uh, let me just say oh, this motion. This this this. This document. Uh, this will be the financial management. Uh, finance function with finance. Okay. You know, and the accounting modeling, right? The accounting modeling, uh, financial modeling. Finance function. So they, they are right. So function answer for yeah. for like say okay. Finance function, uh, load VPM schedule, that's uh, right, we have just uh, finished. Next one, next topic, mm -hmm. there's another activity. Ah, yeah, no. Next uh, uh, main topic is net present value. Second topic is how to compute net present value with Excel, right? Topic two, net present value. Or we call simply NPV. The my NPV theoretical aspect we are not going to discuss on the application, right? Excel modeling only application. application. Theoretical aspect we are not going to discuss. We will discuss the theoretical aspects under financial management. Right. Anyway, since we all are in the same class, I am the teacher to teach financial management and, and Excel. I would like to just give some idea about net present value. Uh, when we discuss time value of money, we discuss what is net present value, right? So what is net present value of money? Net present value simply, right, is the difference between the present value of all cash inflows of the company, of the of the project, and initial investment. Or else we can say net present value is the difference between present value of all cash inflows and present value of all cash outflows. That is net present value, right? Uh, here it mentioned present value is the difference between present value of all cash inflows and 
initial investment, as you mean, uh, your business project is very uh, conventional, conventional project, ordinary project, ordinary projects are nature of my initially you have huge outflow and in the future you have inflows. So accordingly, as far as that ordinary conventional types of projects are concerned, this definition is perfect. This is the definition. Net person value is the difference between person value of all future cash inflows and initial investment. Assuming your initial investment is an outflow, definitely, and in the future, you generate cash inflow, right? The net percent value represents the net wealth generated by the project years. If the net percent value is positive, it implies how much of wealth you generate right now. If the NPV net percent value is minor, right? NPV represent the amount of wealth you destroy right now as a result of the signing the agreement with the project, right? So decision criteria, if you are considering single project, if you are evaluating single project, this is the decision criteria. If the NPV is greater than zero, greater than or equal to zero, we accept the project. You compute the NPV, check whether the NPV is positive. That means greater than zero. They need accept. If the NPV is negative, it means it destroys your wealth. If you accept the project, it destroys your wealth. So you reject the project. Positive number accept, negative number reject. What if my in case NPV is exactly equal to zero? Still we say Lamai accept the project. Again, NPV positive na zero na tapi accept karma. And if the NPV is positive, we Accept no argument. Argument in the sense you need to consider a lot of other non-financial factors, right? We are talking about financial aspect only. Here with NPV, we evaluate the project based on financial aspect. If the NPV is positive, that means it adds value to the firm. It increases the wealth of the firm. But Lamai, what right? What if if you are going to sign the project, people uh, protest against the company? People throw stones at the company to the management. Project may be financially feasible, financially viable, financially very sound, but socially right, negative impact, environmentally negative impact. Then people right will oppose, will protest against the company. So according to with NPV, all these th things, we are only considering the financial aspect, right? So when it comes to make your final decision. Entity or business organization is need to consider a lot of other non-financial factors. What are the environmental issues, social issues, right? So we are those aspects we need to keep in our in our mind. But under NPV, we just evaluate financial aspect of the project, financial viability, social viability, social feasibility, environmental feasibility. That should be looked after by social experts. Uh, and the environmental uh, experts will do that assessment. So our, as finance guys, our concern is to consider financial aspect and based on NPV, we give our recommendation. Based on NPV, we give our recommendation. But based only based on only on NPV, we are not going to make our final decision. That is the theoretical aspect, right? Okay. Our, with our financial modeling, our concern is to how to compute NPV. How to gen how to forecast future cash flows? You you can remember in the very first day we prepared profit forecast. Similar to profit forecast, we can prepare cash flow forecast for a project. Right? Based on cash flow, we can compute NPV. Computation of NPV with Excel is very, very convenient. Even I'm sure, even without Excel, with your finance knowledge. Right, you are very we are, we are very good at computing NPV, right? Because I taught you almost all the techniques, tools, techniques of computing percent value. I right. Uh, I don't think uh, right. Uh, any other course would cover would have covered that much of uh, techniques in detail. 
right? In detail, we have discussed, we took about five to six weeks to discuss time value. Now in the fact that time value is the crucial uh, technique uh, in finance, right? Right. Even without Excel, you must be very convenient computing person value or NPV because we discuss all the secret shortcuts techniques for when come when comes to compute present value of, of money, present value, right? So we'll move on to our Excel approach. So for uh, NPV calculation, calculation Lamai, uh, the syntax you need to use a formula called equal sign just to say Excel that you are writing a formula. This is the formula NPV. You just type equal sign then just type NPV, then Excel knows you are going to compute NPV for a given cash flow, right? So accordingly, it, once you type this, it requires rate. Rate is what, Laman? Rate is the company's cost of capital, project cost of capital. Most of the cases, companies weighted average cost of capital. You know weighted average cost of capital, right? Take, show the weighted average cost of capital. Value when value to value to it means the my year one cash flow, year two cash flow, year three cash flow till to the end of the project. You need to show what cash flow end of year one, right? That is the value one. Cash flow value end of year one. From end of year one to till the end of project life, cash flow should be highlighted. You should show, tell the Excel, what is the end of year one cash flow? end of year two cash flow, so on till the end of the project life, right? Here it is not mentioned the initial outflow. Initial outflow means value at zero. One can end of year one, two can end of year two. So accordingly in this formula, you are not incorporating initial outflow. Initial outflow, we don't show. Separately, right? Separately, you can Separately add to you can add plus initial outflow. May formula separately plus initial outflow. Initial right actually MPV formula originally like this. To this formula, we will apply uh, we will do a slight modification. Simply this is the NPV formula, but this NPV formula won't give you the exact correct answer, uh, right? We will do some modification to this, right? I'll illustrate it how to do with the practical case, right? Okay, this is a scenario. So we will uh, consider this scenario, right? Activity under NPV activity number one, right? Following information is given to given for an investment that Alpha PLC is currently considering for investment, right? Considering to undertake. Right. Initial investment like 10 million initial investment. That means you need you right. If you want to undertake this project, you need to spend invest 10 million. If you invest today 10 million in future in the future, as you will project life is three years in the future, you will receive net cash inflows. You know net cash inflows means revenue inflows minus cost and expenses outflows. Right, on the cash forms, inflows and outflows, the difference net cash, right? Difference is the net cash flow. Income minus expense, cash inflow, operating cash inflows minus operating cash outflows. It has generated net cash inflows 4 million year one, end of year two, 5.2 million, end of year three, 6.8 million, right? So compute and the uh, entities weighted average cost of capital. That means firms cost of capital 15%. That means we need to generate our investors required rate is 15%. Our average required rate is 15%. We need to ensure our investment generate 15%. Because our debt capital providers, equity capital providers, all together, on average, they require 15%. Right. So these are the information. These are the inputs required for our calculation. We will take this figure. First one, come to find the NPV, net present value of the investment. Okay. We will compute. 
Mm, okay, take these figures to our calculation worksheet here. Let me do close this unnecessary one. Say close. Okay. NPV, right? Let's say NPV, right? Uh, I'll rename this sheet as NPV. All the NPV calculations appear in this, this particular sheet, right? NPV um, illustration. Illustration. Okay. Activity one, activity, and NPV activity one. Activity one. Right. So, what are the information? We'll put uh, inputs first. Inputs. First input, take a tama initial investment. In initial investment. Initial investment is uh, 10 million. Since initial investment is an outflow, I put as a minus figure, right? Uh, minus 1, 10 million. Six zeros, seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can see it is not easy to read. So, what to do? Format the sheet. How to format? Click on this small box, control 1 and shortcut. Go to number, format, minus. Remove the decimal, use the thousand operator, minus because we can make a 10 million. Okay, understood. Initial investment this much, inputs like this. Uh, future cash inflows. Future cash inflows. 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 Year one, I will put like this, right? Future cash inflows. We'll put uh, here, no, here, one, two, three, uh, we'll say NCF, NCF, it means net cash flow. I can't remember, so I, I need to go back to my, the sum. Uh, it goes around 4 million, 5.2 million, something like this. Anyway, better look at this, 4 million, 5.2, 6.8. Okay, four million, five point two million, six point eight million. Am I correct? Again, make sure six point eight, five point two. Correct. Okay, cost of capital fifteen percent. Come back to our calculate model. It's also an input cost. Cost of capital. That is W is input. WA CC of the company 0 0.15 0 0.15 click okay increase right that's it so these are the inputs these are the inputs right our requirement output is our output is output is we need to compute the NPV we need to compute NPV right just to uh, refresh your knowledge if you don't know about anything about this NPV formula, how you compute the NPV? Using your advanced level knowledge and very important using our present value calculation knowledge, we can compute NPV. Because NPV is the difference between present value of inflows and present value of uh, initial outflow. Right. Let's compute using your time value of money, How using your by applying your knowledge on present value of future cash flow knowledge, we'll compute time value. First, right? Up here, maybe load reformation schedule ke the installment we compute using our finance technology, finance techniques was the loan divided by present value interest factor and we tooling up installment hard. Using Excel init formula, P empty function, we could usually easily use to compute installment. Okay. We'll compute NPV using our finance knowledge. Finance knowledge. Say here, this ideal method to compute uh, NPV using manual calculation using a finance knowledge. Here, first thing, then you take net cash flow. Then you take another column, uh, present value interest factor. Personal interest factor, if you wish, at 15% uh, may see now 15%. Right? 
then uh, cash flow times present value factor gives you present value. Cash flow times future value, cash flow is gives you present value, not net present value, present value. Or well, my manual had the financial management of him, I had that right? Me, me format again because you are not allowed to use Excel or other support you software here. Project life is three years, including year zero. Year zero cash flow. So we take to our calculation. Year zero, then year one, year two, year three, net cash flow. Year one cash flow. Year zero cash flow is equal to your initial output. I make it fix. The same way we say it. Make it fix. Year one cash flow. I just copy these three cash flows and put it here. Yes, values, values of interval Roma. These are future cash flows. Present value interest factor. Present value interest factor method at 15 percent. Present value interest factor formula model my present value interest factor is equal one manual other the calculation right one divided by or else you can read the table. You are given the table at the extent table read card, but better to be ready even without table you should be able to do tackle because you are finance special people. One divided by one plus R P N O P cost of capital here. And better, not better, you must make it fix. One divided by one plus R. What I have written here, one divided by one plus R. To the power N in my present value. To the power N. N key and my method N pen and method. Relative to the I am going to draw, drag it down. So you can see always. Year zero percent of interest factor is one. Drag it down. Okmavantini decimal api remove karakunisa. Increase the decimal. Increase decimal. This is our decimal to nakati. This is our percent of interest factor. Percent value is equal. Adana percent value is equal. Future value times percent PVIF. PVIF percent value is equal. Future cash flow times PVIF. This is the percent value. Drag it down. Present value of initial outflow is same because the initial outflow, initial investment you made today, its present value is same. But 4 million that you receive at the end of year one, it reduces when it comes to bring it today. Right. Then, this is the present value of future cash inflows. What is the definition? Our, our NPV. NPV definition of the net present value is the difference between present value of all cash inflows and initial investment. Yamanam. Present value, now this is the present value, not this, this not the future value. These are the, these are the future values multiplied by the interest factor, discount factor. These are present value. What are these? These are present value of future cash inflows and initial investment difference at my NPV just at this NPV. This is your net present value. This is your net present value. This is your net present value. Again, a project taker. If you accept this project, Lamai, it will increase your firm's wealth right now by 1,881,380. Is it good? Do you recommend this project? Yes, project is recommended because it enhances your wealth. Today you sacrifice this much. Today itself you get 11,881,318 net form. You increase, you add value to your business by 1,881,318. This project. Right? This is how you should develop your answer manually on a paper, on a sheet of paper using your calculator for financial management subject, right? Okay, using Excel, I? we will compute, I will compute, uh, this is manual approach, right? This is not the, an Excel, an Excel approach, you can do this kind of calculation as well, right? If you are just said to compute in net percent value of the project, this calculation also correct, but this is wasting of your time. Let me to show right with excel we can do it very easily uh, right meta my essay 
ordinary manual carrier not ordinary confused right manual calculation and ordinary manually if you go for workout working out the NPV is the way right manual calculation don't say right it is not manual we use the excel my name right i mean you can do the same way you on the free piece of paper with just with your uh, calculator manual calculator let's say npm output using uh, excel using excel in excel npv formula right okay see what is the formula use this formula equal npv rate value one value two value three etc okay come back equal very simple npv close bracket rate we have only one rate of cost of capital give the rate like this comma value one value two value three value one mean lama year one cash flow this is year one cash flow year two cash flow year three cash flow right close the bracket enter you can see it is wrong our answer was our answer was one million eight hundred eighty one thousand three hundred eighty here Eleven million eight hundred eighty one thousand three hundred eighteen. What did you allot? See, now we make initial outflow ka adjust kallan hai. In saal na mai NPV formula ka ta separately plus karan na separately plus karan na initial outflow that you to exact value. You can see this one million eight hundred eighteen thousand. Right, same menu, same manual answer ka. Tamay dollar market you know, ek. करेंसी Now think like what if you you had let like, let's say twenty year cash flow twenty year cash flow we have done. Or I mean twenty year twenty years sort of calculation I know. But here with this NPV is very convenient. But make sure I I made a simple change right NPV formula suggested by Excel not capable of final answer generating final answer. We need to do a slight modification to Excel NPV NPV formula. Minus slight modification, but the plus karma separately initial investment. Otherwise, it it is wrong. That's it, right? So make sure NPV formula. If it is separately plus karma initial outflow, then that gives you the exact answer, right? That's it. That's how NPV is computed. Mm. Right. Tama, if you have any question, please let me know. Right, to our question, you know, ah, right. Okay. Then internal rate of return. Ah, uh, yeah, we discuss under we discuss under financial management when it comes to co compute cost of redeemable debt capital. Right, redeemable debt capital, well. Uh, कॉस्टेक समान है ये डेट इंस्ट्रूमेंट के इन्वेस्टमेंट के इंटर रेट ऑफ रिटर्न आईआर आईआर कंप्यूट करना करना मामा की प्याक किया लूँ ना ट्रायल एंड एरर मेथड राइट देन फॉर्मूला एप्रोच देन ग्राफिकल एप्रोच राइट विथ एक्सेल विथ इन टू थ्री सेकंड यू कैन कंप्यूट आईआर राइट एनीवे साइड प्रिफर्ड � 
activity for this. Happy to activity account me in P calculation or the by the way, one minute hmm? maybe based on our selection type and I now you use in your project, right? Now, if you wish, hmm? let's say manage what if management me company's cost of capital increase. Cost of capital increase decrease in the project when I have balance up in Madaga and Tulani. We can right modify this model by adding a spin button like this that you know, right? And uh, format controls and link this the small, the lowest, uh, let's say lowest um, cost of capital rate would be 10, uh, maximum cost of capital would be let's say 40. Incremental chain one selling to different place because we cannot generate uh, may, may, may decimal places or percentage and like this. And we can when you click up and down it chain like this. And I link this percentage cost of capital rate to take from the spin button equal may generate to the GD take a bit on the C. It will have decimal place. Okay. Now you can see when wala make a older karadi balanda, wala ge older karadi balanda, wala calculation of the way we model like a manipulation. They can discount rate take a 25% when I come NPV positive. If your discount rate increase beyond 25, if the discount rate could be 26, for it going to be. You, look, you are going to lose your project. There are pain on me, modeling and manipulation. Coach of the Gazi Kilap to work and the Gornamai in firms cost of capital 25 Dakka project taker beneficial 25 Dakka project taker right add in value in case firms cost of capital increase beyond 25. In a required rate 26 or not, for it take a negative. Right? Okay, this, this kind of uh, may, may, may modification to the model end up. Right? Uh, right. Then, uh, look, we'll consider another scenario here. Let's say copy. This alpha limited the active number two alpha company is considered in the right. Let me do you data in a table like this. Relevant relevant uh, audit cash flows are uh, even in the uh, following table like so I'll put here here and net cash flow net cash flow oh yeah to the analysis we are zero in and then all right zero can initial investment we are one year two year three year two right now year two in year three year four year five year six Year so that means project has a lifespan of six years, seven years. So right. The net cash flows uh, we'll put in rupees in million, convenient rupees million. Millions. Uh, 
like uh, let's say 500 million outflow 500 million outflow year one let's say we have 150 million year two we have uh, 80 million year three we have 290 million 190 million year four we have 480 million year five we have 385 million year six we have 280 294 million year seven we have let's say so these are the future cash flows, right? Okay, firms where the cost of capital is the uh, fifteen percent, right? Find NP of the investment, right? New scenario. So I can take this scenario to our project for a calculation. Activity one we discussing. Then activity two, activity two, control two, right? Inputs, inputs, inputs. PNA is given in the in the table. We'll take the exact table. Control C. Go count close sheet. I'll put control. Control V, undo, just put Control V, right. So these inputs, we should put in a yellow color. And other inputs, uh, we have W, isn't it? Weighted average, cost of capital, count, firms, Weighted average cost of capital or WCC, it is given 0.1616% and make percentage. Right. Requirement people compute net present value. Right. So net present value of the project. That's our output. Spelling mistake at nine and not going, to, not going to rectify, right? Our output is output is we need to compute net percent value of the project and recommendation. Recommendation or decision. Decision. Right. So you need to find now what is the NPV. You to find out what is NPV and do uh, the recommendation. Do the recommendation. Very easy. Right? NPV. NP is equal, but write NP formula. NP V formula. Open that, right? Open method. And first use the rate. Very simple. Rate. You should show the rate, comma. Show the cash flows from year one onwards. Very easy, year one onwards, like this. Close the bracket. And I told you, basic NPV formula is not in a position to give the NP. Because you can see in this NPV formula, we have not considered initial outflow. Our NPV formula has not yet considered NP, right? Initial cash outflow. So you consider now plus initial outflow like this. Then enter. This is your NP. NP is possible. If you are not sure, do other way of working, right? Make a sure that the manual command has done. Manual command has done. How to compute it manually? Manual has worked. Metro to the copy karan. Wala financial management paper has worked. Metro to ticket may be here type karina, right? Make with it again. 
if what if logical test ke tamai api kiya test karapan npv if this value is greater than o equal what zero if this true tell accept accepting a watcher that is with inward command uh, accept or it is recommended to accept the project or just write accept right project if not if not, if not, it should be other way. If not, it is less than, right? If not, greater than utna, equal utna. And definition will be less than. If not, lama, it is recommended to reject the project. Or just say within my reject. For the first case, just within my say accept. Enough, right? Now we can walk here and leave up. Enter. Okay, now you can see it mentioned reject the project, uh, accept the project. It is recommended to accept the project. Right? Now, increase your discount rate to, let's say, may 30% of the discount rate is that 30%, right? 30% of the discount rate is that 30% is still accepting 40% of the project taker 40% of the project taker then NPV is minus you can see the division Excel key now it is recommended to reject the project right so according to us our maybe function of the cost of capital initially 416 16% check project is accepted the material only unknown if NPV is greater than or equal to zero, you just say accept. Accept. Otherwise, watching none of our examine time to run a reject. Okay. Right. Accept or reject. Right. You have to see the Panha demo them both. Or than now, rejected now. I N P is negative. Reject. Okay. So maybe again, or that can be if function. Okay. If function can be applied for different different purpose, right? So and if you want to alter you the cost of capital, as I said earlier, you can incorporate right spin button to alter increase and decrease the cost of capital. So we discuss some tools. Right, all the if function, logical function, Boolean operators, uh, sum if, average if, all those basic formulas we discuss, all the tools, many tools we discuss. Right, when it comes to developer model, you need to incorporate those tools, techniques, formulas, shortcut to enhance your model. Right. Right. So it is interesting because we are teaching financial management you are learning financial management and here we are applying the same financial management concept time value concept all together so right you can if you are interested to learn um, right uh, you can really enjoy right financial management and accounting modeling together right right as a student during this learning uh, right your university life you should not have any other objectives right making your parents dream a reality study hard work hard concentrate on your study if you are undergoing training internship concentrate your workplace duties as well balance your life well study well work well be happy right always be with your parents and your other family or uh, your relatives, right? Always be happy, work hard, right? Right, that is NPV. Then next concept, uh, we are going to discuss it, IRR, internal rate of return. 
technical definition i told you in from the finance point of financial management point of view i prefer to say irr is the yield rate of the index irr is the yield of the investment ultimate annual yield of the investment right yield of the investment or yield rate of the investment can i yeah but most of the textbooks in finance uh, textbooks and uh, financial manage uh, management uh, related notes technically and very correct to say it's correct hmm? irr is the discount rate at which your npv becomes zero oh yes mathematics is very correct but the reality in, in reality is um, in the soft form soft form finance point of view irr means the project yield rate okay i told you right okay what is internal rate of return internal rate of return of a project is simply the discount rate right at which npv of the project becomes zero right is the discount rate at which right rate that makes npv of the project equal to zero right or discount rate uh, let's say uh, at which uh, the at which uh, the npv of the pro of the project of the project because the same way this is my other other way, way of integration irr can also be considered as the can be considered as the project yield rate for it to keep yield level return rate tamai ir on the right decision criteria tamai if the project irr project yield is greater than or equal to the cost of capital tamai irr can the project take in the yield level cost of capital ke liye ne company required rate to yield rate ke cost of capital ke wada wedi na we are happy let's say our required rate is 15% or it ir like 25% so we are very happy because our we require 15% for it ir can project yield is 25% what avashyakara ne 15% bank ko dena 25% so we are very happy right so that's the thing so decision criteria accordingly if the project ir that means project yield is greater than or equal to your cost of capital to the uh, let's say for to the uh, firms ape technical hari mate na firms weighted average cost of capital for the amb some other forms of cost of capital like project cost of capital incremental cost of capital don't know even that about that in general if the irr of the project can a project yield occur greater than the cost of capital now definitely you can accept provided you have one project if you have several project if you have several project now uh, you need to consider the project giving Highest rate, but I will discuss. There are other concept to discuss. Consider because um, if you have several project lamai, it is not good to make your decision based on IR. IR alone can percentage. If you have several project, the more keep in mind lamai, most strongest way of evaluating project, the most strongest. a powerful technique of evaluating a financial feasibility of a project is npv not irr right npv directly tells you what is 
right by how much in terms of rupee or dollar by how much your wealth is increase or decrease percentage is a relative figure percentage can work right sometime percentage let's say five percent right five percent or twenty percent it doesn't reflect the size of the project project is size of the percentage right but NPV it shows by how much your wealth increase. The application plan of my me Bulatida Kadeka profit margin like a fifty percent. Bulatida Kadeka, right? They have several ingredients. Eva gates cost for you, Tatino, selling price, Tatino. You can compute the gross margin for a small, ordinary business like. Selling beetles or selling king coconut. One might say fifty percent gross margin, but fifty percent gross fifty percent gross margin may represent twenty rupee, thirty rupee, or fifty rupee. But if you consider right, if you consider another huge business, they say selling apartment. They might say gross margin is ten percent. Selling an apartment. Gross margin is 20%. Selling king coconut, gross margin 50%. If you ignore the nature of the business, and if I say there is one business, you will have gross margin 50%. Have I family beginning? There is another business selling properties, gross margin 20%. If you merely look at the margin, you might prefer to go for a 50% margin business. Have I 50% margin business? Can I family get a business? 50%. See it along the Sipanati Guruna, 50% margin. Have a rupee alpana high profit. Selling apartment, 500 maybe, 100 maybe, 10 million apartment. 20% margin, the Kuruna profit take either. 2 million. It's rather than Padini percentage taker based on percentage value. We don't make a decision because percentage ignores the size of the project. If you have several projects, what is the most powerful way of evaluating project? That is uh, NPV, net percent value. That is the most uh, recommended, powerful, popular technique to evaluate a project. That is theory. So we'll consider how to compute. Uh, internal rate of return. Okay, very simple. Man. With Excel, with Excel, IRR, there's a formula. Just use a formula called IRR. Just show the value. Just show the all the cash cash flows. It within less than one second it computes IRR. Right? You must know what is IRR. You all know as finance student, I told you, IRR can a project take a yield rate, bank deposit at the month. If you put money, save your money in an FD, you know what is FD rate. That is your deposit rate. That is your return rate. If you invest your money, right, uh, let's say in a other kind of business, you invest in a Teak plantation, Tev Vagao Kinis Karno. So, what is your annual or your average return rate? IRR gives you your average return rate. Right? So, if you have the return rate and if you know your required rate, required rate is your cost of capital. Let's say your required rate is 20%. Your cost of capital 20%. Forms WACC, weighted average cost of capital, cost of capital form generated from the debt capital, equity capital, on average, they require 20%. Cost of capital 20%. You computed using the cost of capital, you computed IRR, let's say equals to 30%. What what do you think? Your cost of capital 20%, project generate 30%. You can accept the project. Your cost of capital is your required rate from the company's point of view. 
IRR is the return or yield generated by the project. You require 20%, project generate 30%, you are very happy to accept the project. Let's say your cost of capital is 20%, project yield is 15%, then you don't happy. You don't accept. Why? You require 20%, project yield is 15%. What was I? 20%, project yield is 15%. Then you reject. That is story, right? Okay, so we'll see how to compute IRR using the same information. Happy main information like a gamu. This and uh, yeah, this and this both copy and take for our calculation. Same scenario. Find the IRR, right? Compute the IRR of the project. Write the formula to display the appropriate decision based on now this time based not based on I uh, NP based on IRR. IR IRR as a technique has some limitation from I. This is account X me financial modeling. Under financial modeling, we are not supposed to discuss the theoretical aspect of the finance or accounting concept. We just need to apply the formula. We will discuss theoretical aspect in detail when it comes to financial management. We discuss IRR and NPV and payback period under capital budgeting, project evaluation. There I will discuss hmm, theoretical aspect. Right? You all can understand. This is not the place subject, uh, this is not the uh, place right, to discuss hmm, theoretical aspect of finance. That is the separate subject. Here, we are going to model, develop models to compute certain answers to, to, to find them. Generate some solutions to issue. Concept ka takari na itna maashin hai. Awaj itna bhi yavadhan hai karan hai. But anyway, since I am the same finance lecturer, right, sometime I take some time to explain uh, the concept. Okay, we'll compute now IRR. Go back to our Excel sheet. Uh, this say NPV, Mama, I'll copy the same sheet. Copy, uh, let's say, more copy, say copy, okay, then copy on sheet there. Uh, and rename it IRR computation. Okay, all that station. This time I are uh, okay. Same inputs, initial outflow, future cash flows, like this. Then uh, right output, output. Uh, what is output? Our output is uh, I R R. Right, using Excel. IRR, not NP this time, we compute IRR, Inter Rate of Return Formula. Output our requirement am I? Internal Rate of Return, MSM, IRR is what we are trying to achieve. Right, there's a dedicated formula. What is the dedicated formula? Equal type IRR. Double click. Just show the values. Right? Now I may see now we give more values to get another gun or late in values to get another gun now. Right? If values are appeared in the different places, also we can work. This is our cost of capital. Uh, here, zero KD. Okay. 
इधर प्रोजेक्ट लाइफ ईयर जीरो वन टू थ्री ईयर जीरो के दी इनिशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट एक दे नो नीड टू से इनिशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट इन सप्लाई प्लेस विल जस्ट डिलीट दैट यू डोंट हैव दिस एक्टिविटी इन द शेयर पीपीटी राइट आई विल डिलीट दिस ओके राइट कैश फ्लोस नॉट फ्यूचर कैश फ्लोस इट्स अ प्रोजेक्ट कैश फ्लोस प्रोजेक्ट कैश फ्लोस प्रोजेक्ट कैश फ्लोस की मैं दिए ये सीरो में इनिशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट ये वन ये टू ये थ्री फ्यूचर कैश फ्लो कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल इज गिवन राइट आई आर आर हाउ टू कम्प्लीट आई आर आर इक्वल सिंबल आई आर आर डबल क्लिक लम्बा यू जस्ट नीड टू शो ऑल कैश फ्लोस ओनली जस्ट शो ऑल द कैश फ्लोस इंक्लूडिंग इनिशियल आउटफ्लो क्लोज द बैकर हिट द एंडर but this is your percentage this is your ir ir is 25 can you remember it? approximately 25% little bit maybe more than that yeah 25.06 is your ir right and this our cost of capital was around 16% so what you now think firm's cost of capital is 16% Project IRR is fifteen percent. I told you, IRR is means project return rate. Project return rate twenty five and a quarter. Company cost of capital sixteen percent. Sixteen percent cost of capital funds add again. Twenty five percent return at the investment at the minimum worth. Project is accepted. It is. फॉर्मूला में व्हाट यू कॉल आप एक डिसीजन ले जाते हो और ना डिसीजन क्राइटेरिया राइट इस अब पर इस डिसीजन क्राइटेरिया वी कैन राइट अ फॉर्मूला इफ इफ व्हाट इफ अब आई आर आर is greater than or equal to the cost of capital the right if the irr that means project yield if it is greater than very happy if it is equal is still happy because wacc is the required rate if it is equal means your project meets your required rate then you are happy If it is greater than or equal, we can say within another comma accept, accept. If not, if not, reject. Close bracket. If enter accept. In case your cost of capital, my variable. If in case your cost of capital thirty percent not, so that is reject. Why? Your cost of capital thirty percent, expensive thirty percent cost of capital. By financing funds from thirty percent cost of capital at a rate of thirty percent cost of capital, it is not wise to invest in a project that generate twenty five percent. So the project is rejected. Right. So accordingly, uh, I think you got the point. Our original percent rate is fifteen percent. But it is accepted. WACC means company's cost of capital that you all know. IRR technical definition is the discount rate at which it becomes NPV becomes zero. At the level me, me me. Ola NPV compute karo at IRR rate at that level your NPV becomes zero. You know, I think a technically very story. Okay, so. Cost of capital is your required rate. IRR is the project yield, project return. If the project return is greater than required rate, you are happy. You accept, right? For the main, let me manually IRR for you. You want to do that? How do we compute manually IRR? Using Excel is very easy. Using Excel is very easy. Just show the cash flows. How do we compute? 
manually. Manual calculation is called How do you calculate manually? Manually, I told you, you need to compute two I, I, R, R. Sorry, you need to compute two NPVs. Manual calculation, okay? you need to compute. Manual calculate, let's say manual calculation so IR. Insert. Insert. Right. It's a bit formula till my IR formula till we have IR formula. What is the formula? Lower discount rate. Plus, what is the NPV one divided by NPV one minus NPV two? Me fraction again. Fraction again. Radical unknown. Radical unknown. HDR higher discount rate minus lower discount rate discount rate they got the difference again. I illustrated this right last Saturday. May formula be done. So if you for to compute IRR manually, you need to know two discount rate and two NP. NRP, uh, Compute work out column two NPVs we manually had an on right up down NPV so they take run up we will first try NPV up a garden there on a cost of capital NPV at 16 percent we had a pattern and we need to apply whatever rate and just compute NPV we will just compute NPV using cost of capital, 16%. Right. MLM. You need to take that net cash flows. Discount rate. Discount rate we compute can come on Discount rate is equal. 1 divided by 1 plus R. R in a cost of capital method. Yeah, F6. F6. Uh, F4 six karamu. 1 plus R to the power to the power to the power N. N can here. Enter. Then you copy it to the rest of part. Then decimal stick increase from my archive. This is your present value. Interest factor. Present value is equal. This times percent line factor, and you can copy it to the rest of the part, and then you can sum of these things. So, this is the percent value. It's the total amount. But the NPV 16 will be percent value. I will copy it or just say percent value this much. At sixteen percent, the minimum at sixteen percent, at the discount rate NP NPV. But in positive equation, discount rate NP. Discount rate sixteen percent at sixteen percent NPV complete. Right. We need to apply another discount rate and compute NPV. Right. At sixteen percent, the positive. Now, my I told you ideally other NPV if the first with the first discount rate you randomly you arbitrarily use 
16% compute into it is positive. Then ideally, you better use another discount rate at which NPV becomes negative. Then your, calc your, your IRR is more accurate. So now you want to increase, you want to increase your discount rate. Why you want to get a negative NPV? NPV negative NPV. If you want to have a negative NPV, what you should do to this discount rate? You need to apply a high discount rate, then the percent value becomes low. So, how much you should apply? I usually ask you to use about 8% increase. Then 8% increase to 24, right? 8% uh, or 10% I will apply like 25% or 26% right let's say 26% got high rate or apply 30% they will again 30% actually I, I know IR is around 25% uh, right if you write uh, Take let's say twenty five percent, right? But I I, I just apply my thirty percent, right? We behind you are got to let's say uh, twenty five percent. It won't it is still be around small positive. Then uh, you can try a bit higher one, right? Ideally, ideally, um, so with. I get 30 30% 30 right 30% 30% okay at 30% again compute IR all our own available compute can metal data Thirty, right? Thirteen percent or two. I could have used the same calculation model, but I use another one, right? At thirty percent, at thirty percent equals percent in the factory is equal one divided by one plus R should be now. 30% and make fixing pressing F4 close the bracket to the power to the power this is the n to the power n and copy to the rest of the part you can say discount rate change and percent you can see now percent value is minor so according to ideally 16% of the positive percent value 30% of the negative percent value so we have the right required inputs now. Now we are talking about computing IR using manual method, right? For financial management, computing IR using a formula. So these are our inputs that should be used to compute IR. Using Excel is very simple. How to compute using Excel? Very easy. Equal just write IRR. Open record. Just show the cash flows only. No discount rate is needed. Just enter is 25.6. 25.6 within few seconds. Less than 10 seconds we could compute IRR. But if you are going to compute IRR manually, based on the project cash flow, come you need based on the project cash flow, you need to compute. Two NPVs, two NPVs at two different IR, two sorry, two different discount rate. Ideally, at one rate, NPV should be positive. According to other rate, NPV should be negative. That is the best case, right? You can compute IR even with two positive uh, um, NPVs. NPV is positive, they can throw in a good one. Accuracy product are doing right. Apply lang 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 awash tools to get in Use the formula. May formula get awash shy. LDR get a plus sale. Mama LDR get a better than that. LDR can work. 
लाइट लाइट रेसिडेंट डायोड ने एलडी एलडीआर किया ने केले में मैं और ने एलडीआर राइट और मैं आता हूँ एलडीआर एलडीआर इधर बस ये आटा प्लस से इन्होंने प्लस प्लस से प्लस कर दूँ मैं फॉर्म लगा दिया मैं एलडीआर प्लस से इन्होंने विंडोज़ ना एलडीआर प्लस से इन्होंने एनपीवी वन डिवाइडेड एनपीवी वन माइनस टू एना एनपीवी वन एक का मित्र ना दाम हो एनपी वन क्या ने मतलब एनपी वन के एनपी वन क्या ने NPV at lower discount rate, lower discount rate के NPV दान रहा मेथर, right? एक divide window न, divide window न, NPV one अभी जब मेथर आराम तीन हो, minus NPV two, you can see it increase एक इधर add दो इन्होंने, तो मेरा divided by मेरा Right. A, a fraction making value in donor delta discount rate, higher discount and lower discount rate a difference. Api e uttrega mu method. Right. E uttrega mu method. Equal higher discount rate minus lower discount rate. Discount rate the difference ke kiye the 14 percent. 14 percent. Ena main na me fraction ke fraction ya kila mai. भाग संख्या उन्हें दिस योर न्यूमरेटर दिस डी डिनोमिनेटर मैं आ न्यूमरेटर डिवाइड बाय डिनोमिनेटर मैं आते का मल्टीप्लाई वेला तमाय मैं आते का प्लस से आरे ना भी मैं पहले सॉल्व करेगा मैं ना हम इतना लिए ना मैं के रिजल्ट एक रिजल्ट एक उपाय दे मैं आगे रिजल्ट एक दिस डिवाइडेड ब this decimal place place here decimal sankhya okay now minimum decimal sankhya we multiply in the math right multiply in the math we are going to write equals this we are going to multiply in the math all the calculating the handful of these right okay so what is the answer multiply the math this times this इतना को देना ना माय मिन्ने में आगे तिब्बती का मेरे आगे तिब्बती का डेसिमल वाली नाम ताऊ बड़ी करामु मेरे आगे परसेंटेज देन ना फिर गामु अब आई आर के नंबर दे लोअ डिस्काउंट रेट प्लस मिन्ने में रिसाल्ट मिन्ने में रिसाल्ट मैं आ प्लस मैं आ प्लस मैं कह लेता माय मैं सेट किंग आप उत्तरे ये मना आई आर आर इस इक्वल लोअर डिस्काउंट रेट प्लस न फ्रैक्शन टाइम्स डेल्टा फ्रैक्शन फ्रैक्शंस टाइम्स डेल्टा के रिजल्ट में आ इनां लोअर डिस्काउंट रेट प्लस में आ उत्तरे यार एस ए परसेंटेज यू कैन सी ना माय Approximately same ने अलवांड approximately same twenty five point zero six में आ twenty five percent six वाले एंड राइट में accuracy के में इतना हम अवेल आती है ने एक के ने positive आने तक के ना negative वाला खाता पूछ सकता है क्यों accuracy वाली खाता then वाला दान ना वाला how to compute IR right forget about Excel Forget about Excel. I am now teaching about Excel modeling, but I ask for the time being. Forget about Excel. Forget about Excel modeling. As fine as the student, this is the way you should compute IRR. IRR compute करना हम का दवा शुरू में forget cash flow के दान में right compute to IRR. So so compute to NPV. The patangan ne pe what rate you should use? I recommend you you to first apply company's cost of capital. Cost of capital is known. First compute NPV based on the cost of capital. If you get a positive NPV, then 
increase your cost of capital at a high rate, take another discount rate at a high rate, high rate taking, tower discount rate taking, again come to the cost of capital, ideally try to have a negative NP. It's order or inputs than the gap, you know, two discount rate and two NPs. Then substitute to the IRR formula. So IRR formula ka amata kaanda be. IRR formula ka maata formula ka lower discount rate patta ka innova sadda na. You have a lower discount rate. IRR must be definitely higher than lower discount rate. Lower discount rate leave aside. Lower discount rate patta ka tiya. Then get in. NPV1 divided by NP1 minus 2. 1 minus second NPV minus this NPV the plus and one denominator. NP1 divided by right plus of both NPV ignoring the value again 1 minus 2 second again get the plus and a fraction again multiply delta rate delta Discount rate. Delta discount rate can get means discount rate difference. Here 13 minus 16, 14, 14 times fraction in our answer. Card. That answer must be added to lower discount rate. It gives you IR. That's it. Right? That's it. That's how IRR is computed. Next, in our next financial management session, we will discuss. Valuation of bonds, valuation of equity and project uh, investment appraisal, they are we discussing IRR, right? So, when IRR, I finish with this. Um, right now, that's about IRR computation. We have only one more concept hmm, to discuss, but I think now the time is uh, already uh, approaching uh, 10 25, 10 30. You must be tired so we'll discuss the, the last concept uh, that is uh, beta estimation it's important for finance beta estimation i'll discuss it later i'll ask you to do this as a homework now i can remember in the very first uh, maybe second or third session we for prepared the forecasted future cash flow. So the forecasted profit, profit cash flow, I mean, forecast the The way we forecast the profit, you should be able to forecast future cash flow, year one, year two, year three, year one sales, year two sales, year three sales, year one cost of sale, year two cost of sale, year one operating sales, year two operating expenses, then operating cash flows. Main name result is done up one all again, right? Cash flow forecast. Finally, you can right find out this kind of cash flow from your cash flow forecasting method. I mean, profit forecast can be used in Excel references. We, we prepared the profit forecast. The way you compute the profit forecast, you can. Forecast the cash flow. Right. Let me to show what I want to explain here. Interrupt the financial management. Uh, counting modeling. Here. Am I? Can you remember we prepared a profit forecast like this, right? Profit forecast. Instead of November, let's assume this is year one. This is year two. Year two. This is year three, etc. It might be years again. Let's assume you like forecasted profit for year one, year two, year three, year four. The way you forecast the profit Let's assume you forecasted the, this not the let's assume this is not the profit our tax. Let's assume this is net net cash flows. If you 
forecast the net cash flow like this and lamai you just hide this unnecessary information meka compute karala hide karanna meka hide kara koma adena lamai year 1 net cash flow year 2 net cash flow year 3 net cash flow year 4 net cash flow year 5 net cash flow let's assume your initial investment take like, uh, me 250000 let's say 180000 initial investment then lama you can prepare you can compute what you can compute npv what is npv let's assume company's cost of capital cost of capital company's cost of capital let's say 0. 0.12 percent right using the right or uh, forecasting method you forecasted not the profit cash flow right cash flow focus kala puwe hati anga anhai kala puwama badu tiyen nathi me tiyana this is the way you year one sales year two right minus cost of sale gross profit minus other expenses assuming all expenses of cash basis you reach to not profit net cash flow. then these are not needed you just hide them eta wala dinawa year one net cash flow year two net cash flow year three net cash flow year four net cash flow five net cash flow only project has five year project life initial outflow ekka investment 1.8 million then you are required to compute npv how to compute npv you know npv formula just show the rate these are required rate put comma then show the value one two three these are value one two three close the bracket then separate link operate Initial outflow. Initial outflow la may minus the inflow ni. Make ma mo pasi mat karna. Make this should be minus. This should be minus. La may NPS how much? Eighty one thousand. Eighty one thousand four hundred sixty NPV. Very easy. Secondly, you will be given some time a scenario. Company is preparing future cash flows. It is expected. Year one cash sale will be this much. Sale is subject to annual growth. Cost is sale subject to annual growth. Even store dealer using those information prepare the cash flow forecast. Once you prepare the cash flow forecast, then you can go for the NPV calculation. Cash flow forecast again. Year ke thina top to ke lower bottom line ke thina net cash flow initial outflow additional information ke thina. Then you can compute NPV like this. If you want to compute IRR, what is IRR? Very easy. Just write IRR, open bracket, just show the values. When we value sort of end on Lamai, Okum values mother, mea penna neka, kama dana, initial outflow penna no, itamatro, mea penna no. Close the bracket, end. After the body get what you know, on a undo. Made in a product, it in again Allah. May again, may I incorporate current value, right? Otherwise, it, it seems not working, right? IRR, IRR, a row came up in a value sticker. These are the values. Post bracket, enter. This is your IRR. Percentage number, percentage formatted on IRR 29%. IR 29. Our cost of capital 12 percent. IR 29. Happy one happy. Happy. Why? Our cost is 12 percent. Cost of capital is necessary required 12 percent. For that yield to 29. Very happy. Because our cost, our required rate 12. For that is gives us 29. So we have to we accept the project. Other interesting in this I finish. Am I? If you instead of 12 percent. If you discount your, if you compute the NPV using IRR, your NPV become should become zero. If you make twelve percent when you water, twelve percent when you water, if you substitute karo, make twenty nine percent, but I make eighty one thousand four eighty zero when you. That kind. Okay, I mean this may be NPV at the cost of capital. At 29%, NPV becomes zero because we use IRR as the cost of capital. 
can cost of capital 29 when the NPV becomes zero. A man a cost of capital like that my IR. Right. Anyway, our cost of capital comes from our capital structure and cost of capital component. It is 12 percent. Our cost of capital 12 percent. NPV is positive. Product yield or product IR are 29. So we happy. Happy when we accept. Recommend the product. Right. It's our turn. May NPV calculation, IR calculation can be linked with profit forecast, cash flow forecast. First prepare the profit forecast, not profit forecast, cash flow forecast, similar to profit forecast, prepare the cash flow forecast. And it is like this, and right? Make working solid when the cash flow go hard. Udatina outdo month neve outdo the no, yata cash flow with no, initial outdo with no. Then you can reach to NPV, IR, or whatever. And you can write the if function to give the decision. That's it, Laman. We have one more very, very strong and very uh, important concept that is uh, beta fact. Fine as Laman gave. This share, Badagat concept. Right? Beta fact. Beta factor no dana finance la make in the bad him gave among good up kill the right cost of capital no dana right tax saving can no dana eva gave bad got your good up you know beta kill again me so pd this share bad got concept of risk management or the cost of capital or the appeal made earlier uh we'll discuss it leisurely in our next session uh Beta factor cannot be computed now by manual. Can be computed, but it wastes time. Right? Beta, we just you are given beta computed value for financial management. Using Excel, we come we can easily estimate beta. It is very interesting, very easy. As people like you, is expert or the specialized in, in finance. You must know how to evaluate beta. I will tell you how to download real data from the internet, investing.lk, uh, Investopedia, or Yahoo Finance, or Columbia Stock Exchange. I will do right practically how to compute beta. Getting market data, downloading market data, and using real information and compute beta. Beta reflects a particular shares, right? Uh, risk, right? Business risk. We take a complicated case. I'm a shy systematic risk. A copy beta factory money. A happy Maravachana beta factory of money. Happy excellent Kataka now manually calculate current. Okay, take a bit lesser. Now, with this, I conclude we discuss. Loan amortization schedule discussed very well. Lot of scenarios, different scenarios we discussed. NPV calculation manually and using Excel formula. IR calculation again, again repeated. We discuss under bond cost of bond, cost of debt capital. Here again, I explain how to compute IRR as finance is going. You must know how to compute manually. If you want to compute IRR, trial and error method, you can go. But not good, good, not practical. Use a formula LDR plus NP1 divided by NP1 minus 2 times delta discount rate. LDR plus NPV 1 and 2, 1 divided by 1 and 2 with a difference delta discount rate. In some cases, definitely two NPVs at two different discount rates. Patangan Hudai, this cost of capital in Patanga. Use cost of capital, compute NP. Depending on the outcome, if NP positive, increase the rate and get a negative NP. Two NPV should be there, two discount rates should be there. Ideally, one discount, one NPV positive, other NPV should be negative. Then use the formula. It gives you IRR. I illustrated and I proved la my hammer the agma proof kar la tin wata hari hammer the agma proof kar la tin if a proof kar na kya hoti na pixel pouch kar nisa hari proof kar na kya ne wala type dekhi diya wati ne be 
හරි මේ අයියාල අර එකක් ආපම හරිද වැඩි කියන එක මේ එක තූකලත මා තියෙනවා නිකම්ම නිකන් අතල මේ මග ඇරලා ගිහලා නැහැ හරි ඔකේ මේක අන්ඩු කරමු අපි ඔස්කන් ඩොන්ට් සේල් දිස් ඉස් වෙයර් වි ඩිස්කස් අයි ආර් ආල් and i told in the sense using you can see irr formula for the same project using irr formula i got this answer using the manual calculation i got this answer right me answer deka mama danna wena kala eka me answer eka using manual method this answer using our formula හරි මේ දෙක මම ප්‍රූව් කරලා තියෙන එකයි. ඒතර අර you you are convinced this is correct this is correct. ඒතර මේකෙන් අනිත් පැත්තෙන් කරන නිසා manual method එකෙන් අපි accurate කියන්න. හරි. That's it. We'll find another session. Okay ළමයි. Good night.